my name is Laura and today we will be talking about NetLogo which is a software that encourages high school students to simulate different environments. Um, we would like to tie in the NASA Stormathon competition and also encourage different students to learn about engineering problems and about robotics. So just to give a brief introduction about what NetLogo does, uh, NetLogo simulates emerging patterns that occur in, in nature, in social phenomena, and also simulates patterns created by mathematical problems or engineering problems. So here we have a snowflake that is creating different patterns, and what NetLogo does, it can estimate these patterns without having to see it in real life. So NetLogo is a programmable uh, modeling environment for simulation of natural and social phenomena. It, it is able to model complex systems that develop over time and explores the connection between the macro level behavior of individuals and micro patterns that emerge from these macro scenarios. So here, um, I would like to start explaining about the social patterns that occur in a party. So you can see how people over time form different clusters and move around, and they create different patterns. So in this model, you could see how there are girls and boys, and they form different groups of different amount of numbers. And this model simulates their, um, their changes over time, how they move and interact with different people over time, depending on their tolerance of how comfortable they feel uh, being with a certain amount of people that are of their opposite gender. So um, in the simulation, when you set it up, you press go, and you can see how the people start moving around and forming different clusters according to their comfortableness level. And in these two plus that you see on the side, you could see uh, the amount of people that are happy in their groups and the, how that depends on the amount of groups that are just girls or just boys. Um, so these are just simulating how if you change the number of people or the number of groups how the graphs change, and how easy it is for NetLogo to simulate these patterns by making uh, large changes to the simulation. Um, so in this video you, is a model of how NetLogo can be used to tie in the swarm robots. Um, there are different things that you can change about the simulation. You can see the environment, which is the black and white spots that you see in the background, and the swarm robots, which would be the little triangles that you see. So you can change the smoothness of the landscape, the amount of swarm robots that you want to pick for the simulation. You, and the, what they're doing is that each patch has a different fitness value. Um, right now it's set to one. And so all the swarm robots when you start the simulation, they start looking for that patch that has the value of one. And you can see in this little screen the value, that the best value that they found. So right now we are looking at how the, the environment affects the search. So depending on their, I just I can't see. Okay, okay. depending on their attraction to their best value, you can see how fast the simulation runs or how slow the simulation run, runs and how when their attraction level is high, they form clusters and when their attraction level is um, lower, you can see how they're all dispersed and they take longer to find that better value. This, this model is completely tied into the NASA Stormathon and it was provided uh, from them and you can see how when in this, in this the swarm robots will travel from a center point and go look for different resources in a foreign environment 
and they will collect the resource and bring it back to the center and they will communicate with the other robots so they know which uh, sources have been found creating the, the paths and you will see you will see how um, can you play the video? So when you set it up, you see how the how the robots expand, go look for their sources, and you see them coming back to their center and communicating between each other, so they know which sources have been have they they found already. Um, you can see in the screen the number of sources that are left to that are left, and you can change their speed and their communication level. So now we will begin a tutorial on how you can make your own models. Um, NetLogo has different features. It has buttons. There's several different kind of buttons, but the main ones are the ones, the ones button, which basically you click it once and it does an action one time and then it stops. It's most commonly used for the setup button. Uh, the forever button does an action over and over again. So it's most commonly used for the go button. And it simulates the model over time. There's also switches that you can use in order to turn on and off different parameters. And the slider, which you can control velocity or the number of subjects that you want in your model. The net logo also allows you to gather information. So you can put in plots, which graphs makes graphs and monitors which basically count. So it's a little monitor with numbers and it counts over time. Um, NetLogo is composed of two main um, elements, the patches which compose the environment on where the subjects navigate and perform their activities, and the turtles which are the subjects. And you can basically control them through the observer, which basically oversees the whole entire simulation and, and can ask the turtles or the patches to behave in certain matters. In addition, you have the links, which basically connect two turtles together and they create that interaction between the subjects. So in order to start a new simulation, we will begin by um, showing an example that NetLogo already provides. So if you follow this tutorial, you can get to it through the library. And once you um, run, uh, you can basically put set up. So change that. So you set it up. And maybe play it. Yeah, play the video. So you press set up and you can see that different cars in traffic appear and we are investigating that one single red car. So if you type in, in the command center, um, ask patches, set uh, P color yellow, you could see how the patches turn yellow. Right? And it's very important to, when you speak about the patches, to put P color when you're trying to change their colors. And you would see when you do the turtles, so press click. Yeah, press click. Just click. Mm -hmm. When you go to the turtles, you can set their color brown. And you will type it in the command center and you will see, you type in as turtles set color brown, and you will see how they change brown. Oh, can the video play for them? Um, in this next one, you will go to the command center and click Observer and in the bottom left corner and then you would choose the turtles and in this manner you don't have to type in ask turtles or ask patches, you're basically just commanding the turtles or just the patches to do an action. So if you type in set color pink and press return, you will see how they turn pink 
and you can then go to patches through that same way and in the left and then if you type in p color white then you see how the environment turns white so there are many different colors that netlogo provides for you um, you can type in the regular red brown white but if you want a specific shade you can type in these numbers and NetLogo provides this guide for you. Um, you would just look at the chart and you could say, you know, ask turtles to turn 54 and then we turn that shade of green that, that you choose. Um, so this is just a little introduction on how to also change the shade of a color. So you can pick Let's say you want to turn them red, but you want to put it darker or lighter. You just type in set P color red minus two or plus two. Um, it's very important to put in a space between the minus or plus and the number because otherwise it, it'll turn to an error. So then he, if you press set up um, on the simulation and you right click on a, diff, on a subject, um, you will be able to investigate a singular subject. And you can change their color, you can change their size, their behavior um, at once. Now to start a new model, you go, you select new from the file and then you click add an icon. And from this, you can pick the button that you want. Uh, you just click on the empty space and a little button would appear and here you can name it however you want to. So in this case, we you can name a setup and then you will put press OK and you can see how it turns red. So in this is because a code hasn't been written yet. So if you go to the code tab, you can start typing your code to prepare your setup. So in this case, we are typing, we are gonna make the, we're gonna create a hundred turtles and then reset them every time you click setup. Um, it's very important to note that every procedure will begin with two and then it would end with n. And this is all the time. So now, um, if you press the code, we're gonna set up a go button. So you do it the same way as the setup, and then you will type in, that's weird. I don't think this is the right video. Okay. So now you see if you go to the code tab, you can program the to go button. So you just press to go. And you, you're, you can make the turtles move in certain directions. You can make them move forward or backward or to the left or to the right. And you can program it accordingly to what you want. So now we're gonna experiment with the command center. So you can, if you press here, you wanna change all the turtles to red, or if you want to um, make the environment a different color. Also, if you want the turtles to show a different, the path that they've traveled, you can type in pen down. And this is a variable that NetLogo already has. And you can see the path that each turtle is making, which sometimes can be useful. This is just experimenting with the amount of turtles and movements. Like if you change the angle of the movement, then you can see how the turtles move more in a straight line or faster or slower. Um, now we will set up our first procedure. So we will clear all the patches and clear it all, then set up the patches and set up the turtles in a way that they have an environment to move in. So we're gonna make it green, as in like the turtles are eating grass. So um, we will make a procedure, so you will put in, in the setup, you will set up variables, set up patches and set up turtles, 
and then later on you will define those variables accordingly. So in this case you will set up the patches to, to set to a green color and then you would set up the turtles uh, randomly along the screen. Um, so here, you we're going to set up an amount of energy that the turtles gain from eating the grass. And also, we're going to make them, we're, yeah, so we're going to make them eat grass. So you could see how in the to-go, we're going to put move turtles and eat grass. So that way, when you press set up, they will move around and they will start eating the grass. And you will see at the end of the video how it looks like. So here we're just typing the code in. You see how, try to like always keep it organized so you have the variables, um, the first two variables and then define them in the same order so later on when your code gets long, you, it's easier to find them. One in, also, one important thing here is the um, a space between the energy that they gain and when they, when they move, the energy that they lose. When you type in energy, energy, you plus 10, you want to put a space between the energy, space, plus space, and then 10. Otherwise, you'll get a code, uh, an error. So now we're going to add a monitor. And this monitor um, will show the amount of turtles that you have. So you create a monitor by clicking add on the icon toolbar, then selecting the monitor next to it, and clicking on the open spot in the interface. In the dialog box, you will type in count turtles, and then you press OK button to close the dialog. Um, then you create another monitor again, um, the same way, by clicking the Add icon on the toolbar, selecting the monitor next to it, and clicking an Open Spot in the Interface. Then in the Report section of the dialog box, type in Count Patches with P color equals green. And on the display name, you will put green patches. So that will count the amount of green patches that are left after the turtle seeking. And then just press OK. And when you set it up, you will see how it turns green and you see how the turtles start eating the grass and over time, there's none left. So the next step would be to add a switch that determines the amount of energy that the turtles gain from eating the grass and the, also how they reproduce over time. So you will click on the add icon on the toolbar and then click the switch, but, but, uh, the switch button from the menu, and then click on an empty space on the interface. And then in the dialog box, just type in show energy. So you want to see it show the energy that the turtles are gaining while they're uh, eating their grass. So now you go back to the go uh, procedure, and you want to um, code it so you could see them. So you want to rewrite the egress procedure, and you want to type in ask turtles if p color equals green, then set the p color black, and then set their energy um, 10. And then if they want to show the energy, then you will set the label, and the label will appear once they eat the, the grass. So these are just rewriting more procedures. We want to rewrite the go procedure um, with different uh, variables so that they're able to reproduce. You can check their death rate and their regrow, uh, their regrow of grass rate as well. So this is just showing how to code it. Um, then to add plots, you click the add button on the icon tool and then you select the plot next to it and you click on the open interface. You set a, a title and then you set your X and Y axes, and you here you're basically coding each graph, each um, axis. 
So here you want to show the amount of turtles and the amount of grass over time. So you would see then you press, oh, and you can also change the color of this and you will see it in a moment. Uh, you double click on it. And you can select whatever color you want. And this dictates the color of the line in the plot. So you press OK. And you can move it by right clicking and press selecting. And then you can move the plot to wherever you want. Then you set up and go. And you will see the graph moving along over time. Then now we can set up a counter. And this allows to set a limit on the total length of the run. So this is in case you don't want the simulation to run forever. You want it to run just a certain amount of ticks. So we're making it run 500 ticks and then the simulation will stop. And these are just some other extra details that can help you control the model better. Like um, you can create a slider. So you name a number and then in there you can set up a value that you wanted to display. So here are the min and maximum values that you can edit your counter. And then you go to the code tab and then you, um, you program it accordingly. So you will see. You press set up. You, this is to create another one. And this is to um, dictate the amount of energy that it gets from the grass. So in summary, NetLogo is a great source to predict the behavior of random patterns in nature, in social systems, mathematical systems, and especially engineering systems. It's a great source to simulate the swarm robots mm -hmm. and um, et estimate how random patterns will behave over time. Thank you very much.